Keith. Pretty good, Mike. How are you doing today? I'm hanging in there, just getting ready for uh, a little road trip, possibly, and then uh, got Vegas at the end of the month. Yeah, I know you had said you're going to go to uh, Biloxi first, perhaps, and then out to Vegas and uh, play again. I know we just got back from Macau. We had a great time in Macau. I don't, I don't know how many more times we can talk about Macau, but it was certainly a lot of fun in Hong Kong and meeting the crew from Beat the Casino there. We, we just had a wonderful time uh, with some of the pro players, some of the great international players. I know it was great to meet Dixon from Australia and Andre from Thailand, originally from uh, from Italy, and of course, uh, wait for it. And uh, uh, Robert, of course, from uh, Kuala Lumpur, uh, Malaysia. Who else was there? That I, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly missing uh, some. I, oh, Kevin, of course, from uh, from Las Vegas. We had a, a great international team there to play, and we had a great time. Um, what was your impression? Were you happy with how it went and some of the highlights that you thought were good as, as a professional player that you are? Well, you know, it, it was fun. It was nice, actually, the, to meet these guys that I talked to online. And, and really get a perspective from from some real guys. I mean, oh, yeah. You know, to, to up and, you know, fly across to another country to meet with people shows a real commitment to what we're doing. Oh, you absolutely. Know, yeah. This wasn't 200 bucks and, and an afternoon. This was, you know, several thousand dollars on, you know, most people's uh, uh, expense, you know, to, to get there and stay in hotels for, for this period of time and, you know, it, it was a significant event. So to see players in the United States take a 20-hour flight or 15-hour flight, yeah, uh, you know, that wasn't the kind of thing that, um, you know, you can really dismiss. Um, so now we've got guys that have real big bank rolls that are willing to, you know, put their own money where, you know, where things stay. And um, that that's, I think, the first time that we've really seen this, um, yeah. where we have a, a whole bunch of people that um, came from different backgrounds and, um, you know, just trying different ideas. And, you know, it's funny. Um, we went out there and we all tried different things. And at the end of the day, almost every single person is uh, playing with the plus one system. Now. Yeah. You know, now we've got um, different eyes on it to see. And, you know, we've got some tweaks on it that we're trying. And we we're trying plus two and, you know, trying to see if we can play it mechanically, maybe banker only, maybe repeat only, um, you know, follow the shoe. You know, Kevin's got his 5D. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the guys even printed out a, a, a random order. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where he came up with it, but he, he's, you know, if, if we're trying to test the theory of how random is Bacross. So he came up with a random player, banker, player, 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 banker, banker, player. Exactly. Game. All sorts of tests and games we played you know, there. Against shoes. Right. And it still worked. Yeah, you know, it, it was a little controversial, but you know, t just to back up a second on your point about people coming to the seminar, you know, I, I know, uh, you know, wait for it, uh, you know, a lot of people brought their wives also too, and their friends. I know Robert brought his wife. I know uh, uh, Kevin brought his wife. Uh, uh, wait for it brought, I believe, his sister, and uh, you know, I, I noticed uh, we were actually on the same flight. Uh, he, he flew first class, so I, he, I, I was kidding him. I said, Well, you have a bed to lay in here going to Hong Kong, so Lord knows what that ticket cost him. But anyway, yeah, you know, to your point, there was significant uh investment to get there, come and, and interact with the players. So we're not, we're not talking about you know, a, 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 an unserious club, everyone's serious about their baccarat. So far as plus one, you know, it's been controversial, you know, uh, especially with some of our old time members. But however, I think what we got there and people started to understand is uh, the, the actual approach itself. It's, it's not the answer to everything. It's just another thing that we actually look at. However, it's doing quite well. And we had some some real long time members who were honestly skeptical about it. But when we sat down at dinner and talked about it and explained to them how it works, why it works, and what we're looking at, they they came you know our way and said, hey, yeah, this is really a viable way to play and a viable way to think about that, and it's really not as extreme as everyone thinks it is. It's not a, a Fibonacci or it's not a an up as you lose huge negative progression. It's not anything like that. It's just a common sense way to to track your bets and a way to keep track of things. And if you can get to the 50-50 uh, mark, which you should be able to do by default, uh, you're, you're going to do pretty well with it. Um, and, and those are the things we're looking at. We are looking at some new tweaks. We're doing a lot of things with stats for profit and a strategic Bakker interface. 
And a lot of our uh, uh, members, our programmers and uh, designers, they're doing some modeling and running some simulations. And the results coming back are really good. So, you know, it's something worth looking at. And uh, it's certainly that's our philosophy at Beat the Casino is let's listen and re retake a look at things that we may have overlooked. And, and we we'll certainly do that. I, I think the big difference is, you know, people read on, on forums and you read on the Internet and you know, everybody's on the Internet. Everybody's got, yeah. you know, Internet presence is everywhere. You know, it, just because I read it on the Internet doesn't mean that it's true. Amen. You know? That's right. It's a little different when somebody you know, spends a couple thousand dollars, flies across the world, whips out cash. And, and, and plays it in front of you, and and, and, it, and it works, you know, or, or doesn't work. I mean, you're going to see it right then and there. I mean, we put the money where our mouth is. And exactly. Right. And, you know, at the end of the day, look, if, if you can't get 50% of your bets right, this isn't going to save you, but nothing else is going to save you either. You're not going to win flat betting if you're doing 50-50. So, I mean, you've got to have a, a decent bet selection, but there's plenty of metrics that we can follow. And oh, yeah. Follow that we can get on that are, that are going to be 50-50 and, and potentially even above 50-50 anyway that we can work with. And, you know, that's really where it, it, it is. And, you know, we talk about big bankrolls and 500 yeah. units. You know, I, I like having 500 units, but, you know, the other players have said they're not getting in that deep. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're trying other tweaks to see what we can do to you know, reduce the bankroll requirements as well. Um but, you know, it, you, all you do is reduce unit sizes. You know, that, a couple that's of it. That went out there. Yeah. The, these guys are, are, are typically, you know, $100 hand players. And they said, all right, well, instead of playing $100 a hand, I'll play $10 a hand. You know, it, it's the same bankroll required. Yeah, I, 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 I never understood that argument either. I, I agree with you. You know, the guys are out, they're saying they want to bet $500 a hand 15 times a shoe. Well, there's no difference, hardly, you know. I mean, just uh, especially. $15,000 a shoe. Right, exactly. Yeah. At the end of the day, the same amount of money is being wagered in every shoe. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'd venture to say on every shoe, you're probably wagering even less money yeah. uh, you know, this way. You're, you're just protecting it with a little bit more bankroll. And, you know, it, it's you're going to come back on every one of your losses you look at every loss as a potential win later yeah, that's right. You know, and, 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 and certainly the guys that have a, a more follow the shoe type approach, I mean, you can apply it to that. And of course, you know, Catchus and, and Wolfat are all really involved with that. And so is Dixon from Australia down there. I mean, he's a big proponent of it. He's been testing it now for days. All, all I keep seeing him post is, hey, I just want another 70 units. I just want another 50 units. So so to your point, yeah, everyone is is kind of involved with it and testing it. And, and you know, we're seeing really exciting uh, results from it. And, and and again, you know, system sellers just sell you systems. We're going to the we're going to the casinos now. Not only do we go to Las Vegas, Atlantic City, Florida, you name it. We just went to Macau. So you know, we put our money where our mouth is. We're real players. You know, talking about playing. You know, uh, a lot of different ways, and we 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 take a look seriously at. Uh, Pretty much any way uh, that that seems halfway viable, we're going to take a real close look at it. We we try to keep an open mind and and to look at things, um, you know. And 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 that's the way beat the casino has been successful is to keep talking and keep experimenting. And hey, we'll see you at the casino. You know, that's our biggest selling point. You know, if you bring bring your money and your chips and your fun, and and we'll, we'll see you there. And uh, we've always done that. But uh, you know, th this going to Macau and then players actually coming there was just a huge huge win for us and I think established us as probably one of the best if not the best uh, gaming uh, forum uh, you know on, on the internet I mean we're all over the world now we're certainly international so well you know it's nice also you know not only do we meet up at the casino but you know, we had dinners we went oh to yeah Macau. Macau was right there with Hong Kong and you know, we got to see some sites there you know, and now we're planning the next one so yeah that's right I mean, come out to Vegas and we're going to, you know, bring it, bring back the information from the group to you know, everybody that wants to attend in Vegas, but we're already planning for the next international event where we're all going to fly across the world somewhere else. Yeah. I don't know where that will be yet, you know, hopefully it'll be somewhere warm and, uh, <laughs> I know you like warm. Far away for, for me, you know, we'll let the guys from the east, you know, eastern part of the world fly over here this time maybe, but you know, wherever it is, it'll be fun and, you know, it'll be the same thing. You know, we'll, we'll all make some money and we'll you know, share knowledge and, um, and you know, that's something that you can't you can't put a price tag on. No, absolutely not. And, and to your point now, the segue too is is that in fact, you know, we do have the next one coming up, 
in uh, Vegas on August 30th, or yeah, August 30th. Man, I'm not losing my mind. The, the, the jet lag got to me there a little bit. Um, March 30th, uh, we're going to be in Vegas. We have the, the, the seminar coming up. You know, if you're not a member, now's the time to join. You know, we're going to give you the, the seminar uh, for fr- uh, three months free of the of the uh, forum, and you can come to the seminar. Uh, you know, all you have to do is go to beatthecasino.com and sign up and, and meet me and Mike and, and and all the other players in Vegas and and go play with us. I mean, that, that's you know we're gonna we're gonna play with you. You want to see the plus one system? Come on, we'll we'll play it. Uh, we'll be there for a couple days. You want to talk about Kevin's five D system? Hey, he's gonna be talking about that. I'll be talking about some other concepts or anything else on the forum you want to talk about. Whatever your style of play is we're going to be there talking about it we'll find some way to get you involved in the forum playing and and directing you and and trying to get you to become a winner uh we're not going to sell you a system we're all just going to get together and talk about it and try to help you and uh and and tweak your play so that you become a winner and you know you said something to me one time you know it's it's just that little bit of an edge that that I've learned from the forum, just that little edge. All you need is just a little bit of an edge, whether it be with, you know, some disparity count that maybe 5D or SAP is talking about, or whether it's a money management approach like plus one. Go, go ahead. I see you want to say something, please. You know, chime in. Thing that, you know, I, I joined up with you, I don't know how many years ago, 10, 10 years ago. When I 1922, I, I think it was. Yeah, right. So you had all those seminars out there. You know, every single time I come to a seminar or I, or I get together with, with guys, I learn something new. I mean, plus one is something that, you know, I kind of tweak something and, you know, figure a lot of things out on. Right. But I go meet other people and they push back something to me that I can then reapply into plus one and, or, or combine it with it. Exactly. I've never once gotten together with players and not learn at least one little thing. And, and it's just you, you take these little things that add a tenth of a percent or a one percent advantage and, and that's all it takes. I mean, if you can sit here and, and win 1% of a million dollars over a year, you know, that's $100,000. Yeah. And yeah. it doesn't take long to bet a million dollars at $10 a hand. Exactly. You know, if, you're, if you're playing several, you know, a couple hours a day, a couple of days a week, you know, it, the money adds up very quick and you just need, you know, 1% here. Right, two percent there, yeah. and it, it adds up fast. Yeah, and you know we saw all the. T- I mean, I was amazed at all the baccarat tables at Macau and the elegance of the place. It was about seven times as big as Vegas, but it was just all baccarat at every casino, just endless baccarat tables as far as the eye could see, and and the money that goes across the tables was absolutely just incredible. And even when we're playing locally, I'm always amazed at that. And somebody's concerned about joining the club for you know a hundred bucks to start and fifty bucks a. I mean, what you'll gain by joining the club when I see Baccarat players bet is just the, the, it's it's like throwing a, a tip at, at, at a waitress. You know, uh, I, I just can't can't say enough. And everyone who comes usually is is extremely happy uh, and, and they're glad they meet all the players. I mean, just listen to the testimonials on our website and, and in YouTube channel. So we, we as I always said, we're always looking for the best Baccarat player because we want you to be a part of the club because we'll learn something from you too. We're, we're just, we don't have all the answers. We're always looking for answers and always searching for more things. So, so with that said, so, well, listen, Mike, thanks a lot for chatting. You know, I don't want to make this too long. I know you're busy and uh, you know, we'll see you in Vegas. I'll be out in Vegas and I'm, I'm sure, you know, we're going to play quite a bit when we're out there uh, for a couple days, win a lot of money and uh, you know, have a good time, get some good food, probably eat too much we always do uh we'll skip the gym of course usually then when we're out there and use that as an excuse so yeah we're not we're not skipping maestros though this time oh no we have to go to maestros and get the dessert what's that called uh, uh the butter cake the, 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 the butter cake at maestros yeah right there at the with crystal shops uh and, and whatnot so oh you know what was funny though when we were in macau and it, we were certainly at the mgm they knew us there too didn't they that was really, really quite stunning that, oh, there's the guy from YouTube. He's here to play Baccarat. You know, it's like you can't get away from it. They always know us. So, yeah. Well, listen, thanks again, man. You welcome us. So that's the good part. That's right. They do. So, all right, Mike, listen, we'll see you in Vegas. And thanks for taking the time to chat here, brother. See you soon, Keith. Take care. Bye-bye.